Hey guys, this is Polo just for paintball, and I want to go over my VS to Dow board in my Masashi 7 upgrade chip for my Spider Electra. Now, just to show you, the to Dow board is red, and this is the Masashi 7 chip. That's the thing you'll be changing. Now, you have to be careful when taking it out. I broke my, uh, my stock chip. Yeah, I don't really care, I'm not going to put it back, but somebody might want to, so be careful. Now, the VS Series board was good. It was good for beginners. Um, it came with the stock VS Series guns, of course, and it was good, but I wanted something with more modes. Now, going with the firing modes of the stock board is semi uncapped, semi capped at 15 balls per second, PSP capped at 15 balls per second, millennium at 15 balls per second, three shot burst, and that's it. That's a total of five modes. That's all you really need. If you're just a rec ball player, you just want to play for fun, you know, you're, you're not really interested in adjusting the gun, upgrading it too much, then that's perfect. Um, the only mode you can change, you can adjust, let me correct this, is debounce. Now their debounce works great. It's simplified so anybody can do it. Um, it, it incorporates debounce, Psycho percentage filter and anti mechanical bounce. Now these are three different things that it cha it puts it into one mode that you can adjust. It's um, pre-selected, so it's simpler. Um, another thing it has is four shot. Pretty much you hold the trigger and it fires. Just to clear out a shot, maybe you have a jam you want to clear up. You want it to release. Um, pressurized air in the reg. That's what four shots for. And that's about it for the stock board. So now for the Masashi Masashi Seven upgrade chip. I have there is semi uncap, semi adjustable cap, PSP auto response, PSP fifty percent, PSP a hundred percent. NXL full auto, auto response, 50% ramping, 100% ramping, 3 shot burst, and full auto. Now, that's a total of 12 modes. Compared to the 5, you get 7 extra modes. Um, that's pretty damn good. So, just to go over what each one does. Semi, you know what it, what it is. Semi uncap, semi cap, you know what that means. PSP auto response. Now PSP, you get um, you get to ramp. It's called ramping. You get to select in this upgrade when the ramp starts. So say I set it to three. PSP auto response one two three. After that, I let go of the trigger. It fires. I press the trigger. It fires, and it pretty much doubles your rate of fire. So that is a very fast mode. I try not to use that mode because it's very unnecessary. <laughs> um, next up is PSP 50%. Pretty much same thing. One, two, three. After that, every two shots, you get an extra shot. So it increases it by an extra shot. I do want to say. Um, don't know exactly how much. And PSP 100%. Yeah, same thing, one, two, three. After that, it'll shoot as fast as it can. I had it... I had it set on that before in my other shooting video. It shot very fast. Next up is PSP Burst. Same thing, one, two, three. After that, it's going to do a three-shot burst. You can adjust the burst um, however you want. I think it's... from... 2 to 10, I believe. Something like that. Next up is NXL Full Auto. I actually 
have this set to NXL Full Auto just to show you guys specifically what it does. Same thing, one, two, three, four shot, it goes full auto. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Auto. We'll do that over again. After you wait a few seconds, it'll re restart. One, two, three, four. Full auto. One, two, three. See? Wait two seconds. One, two. One, two, three, four. See? Now, Turn this off real quick, okay? Next up is auto response. It gets really simple after this. Next is auto response. Simply press it, fires, let go, fires. That's all it does. 50% ramping, pretty much you just ramp. There's no three shots in semi before it starts ramping. You just ramp it. Once you get to, I think, eight balls per second, it'll start ramping. It'll give you the extra shot in between two. 100% ramping. Same thing, go to up to 8, it'll start going as fast as you can. Next up is 3 shot burst, everybody knows 3 shot burst, press fire, Press fire. 3 three balls come out. Full auto, hold the trigger, goes full auto. Okay, next up is, that's it with the firing modes, next up is what you can adjust with the board. Now, I'm going to go over real quick about all the things you can adjust. First up is debounce. Next is dwell. Next is loader delay. Anti-mechanical bounce. Fire mode. Rate of fire. You have your eye mode. You get your cycle percentage filter. You got to adjust your ramp start. You have G mode and you have bolt delay. Okay, again, I'm going to go over each one. Debounce is the electrical bounce you get in the micro switch. Sometimes in the micro switch, there's a little charge, a little spark. It trips the switch when you're in between shots. And it helps adjust that. Um, pretty much turn it down, more bounce you get, turn it up, less bounce you get. Dwell. Dwell is how long this solenoid stays charged. Now, the regular setting is 9, and I, that's what I have it on, but because I have a Duracell battery. Now, if I was running the Kingman 9.6 rechargeable battery, that has a lot more charge, and I can probably lower this down to 8, maybe even 7. Now, that's good in, in adjusting this. It's good to maybe lengthen your battery life for you know depending on the battery I run Duracells and it works great for me because I did a little modification on my striker spring so it's a little it's a lot less a lot less force to um, move the shear so next up is loader delay loader delay is depending on what loader you use say you're using the old revolution loader all the old loaders that doesn't have force feed like the the rotors have force feed and the velocities have force feed halo has force feed if you don't have any of those kind of loaders you need to adjust this loader delay now loader delay is when a ball drops ball drops in the breach i reads it you fire there's the delay when the bolt comes back once it reads the bolt coming, the bolts all the way back, there's a delay waiting for the bolt to come down back into the breach. And that's what it is. Helps with brakes, um, especially when you have those older loaders. Even if you have a shake and shoot loader, perfect for it. Now, next is anti mechanical bounce. Anti mechanical bounce is say your gun is vibrating especially with uh, the blowback style paintball guns when it kicks back it might actually trigger another shot and that's what anti mechanical bounce does again with like debound turn it up less is the chance turn it down increases the chance okay next up you adjust your fire modes 
I just went over all the fire modes, so you can just adjust between any of them. Rate of fire, adjust the rate of fire. So you can change how fast, like semi capped. You can shoot. You can adjust it so you can only shoot 10 balls per second. Okay. Next is the eye mode. You have two options for eye mode. You have delayed and four shot. Now four shot is what these boards normally are set on. That's what I have mine set on. It's just so I can clear a, a ball or clear the air in my reg. Delayed. Delayed is the bolt delay. Like it's when you fire a shot, the bolt goes forward, and it gives itself because the eye is reading something in it in its way. So that's the time it waits for the bolt to come back. So it knows it's not actually a ball; it's actually the bolt coming back. So it gives a little delay so that you don't accidentally fire another shot. Okay. Next up is Psycho Percentage Filter. Psycho Percentage Filter is pretty much say you're walking your trigger, you're on semi-auto, all of a sudden you decide to you randomly have an increased yeah, you suddenly have a extra fast pull. Now, psycho percentage filter is pretty much a rhythm. It's keeping a rhythm of your shots. Once you go off that rhythm, it'll ignore it. Because that's a jump or a bounce. Considered a bounce. Now, you can adjust this. It goes by percentage. So, from 10% to 90%. So 10% you have a higher chance of doing that, an extra shot that you didn't mean to do. Put it up all the way to 90, it's pretty much, it sets a rhythm and it's going to stick with that rhythm until you stop shooting. Um, next is ramp start, pretty much when your ramping starts, when your PSP starts ramping, you set it to 2 to 10 I think. G mode, G mode's kind of a cheat mode. I mean, it's fun, you know, just playing for fun with your friends, but it's tournament illegal <laughs> um, and not very fun for beginners. So I don't suggest using it. Pretty much, first shot, full auto. So as soon as you break away from the start, hold it down, you're going full auto. Once you let go, it goes to whatever mode you had it set on before. So I might go back to semi afterwards. So that's kind of a cheat mode. Um, I don't like using that mode because cause it's a little, um, <laughs> a little too much for the people I play with. It's not very nice. Okay. Next up is bolt delay. And that's the last thing you adjust. Pretty much you adjust how long the bolt delay is. And that's about it with all the modes. Um, if you notice how long the Masashi 7 part of this video was, it's a big difference. Definitely suggest it. Um, anything else, guys? Please comment, review, give me a thumbs up. Any requests, please just comment on this video. Alright, guys, thank you.